So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Chris Zombies. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2 and how it applies to the Prestige Supply Drop glitch. Now maybe some of you guys have been experiencing this and we're going to talk about that later today. I got the OAO and that is an epic version of the SVT. I haven't tried this out yet, but it's another weapon that I'm adding to my arsenal. So if anything sparks an idea here today, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter at Chris Violent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. And if you learn anything today, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're new. And for those of you over on Twitch watching this, be sure to follow. You're going to be earning credit the longer you watch my videos, which will come in the form of keys. That is going to be what we're going to be doing over on Twitch. Switching over to multiplayer, the point to Hawk glitch is very strong. You'll notice on that map, everybody is at a race to who can get there first, depending on what side of the map you spawn on. But the last thing we heard of was on November 16th. A guy named Matty Ice got a response from Glenn Schofield, and he said it'll be fixed if it's legit. So that means Sledgehammer doesn't even know that this is actually happening, and they're investigating. So I imagine in the next update, it'll be addressed. But as for the progress of where I'm currently at, I did get gold on a new weapon, the Type 100. And that's a wall weapon located inside the Village Square. I always want to call the Village Square the Courtyard. For some reason, it's just the most open space in the map I always want to refer to as the courtyard. But this is actually called the village square. The courtyard is another part where you shine the Brenner head on a statue and it breaks open for a Tesla gun thing. But that's in another conversation that we've already had. But it does bring me into the topic I want to discuss, and that is the ending that we saw in the main Easter egg, the hardcore version of the Easter egg. And we got a response from Cameron Dayton, first asked by Zaymont. After Klaus kills himself opening the gateway to hell for Straub, is that the end or are we missing something? He came back saying, you think Klaus is dead? And Klaus was burnt into the fire, we know that. But he was screaming the words, the Emperor must not return. And it seems that's what kind of what we're doing by collecting the hilt. And in the hardcore version of the Easter Egg, connecting the Robin Hearst to it, which gives us the power of resurrection. It almost seemed like it was for nothing, but we got a response from Cameron Dayton that said, you think Klaus is dead? So it makes me think that there might be something happening here in the upcoming DLCs because we got a lot going on with this season pass. This is not the only map. We got four other maps yet to come and from the information that we know from Sledgehammer Games, the first will start on PS4 January 30th with DLC 1 The Resistance. And as for the location, it seems like the German Cross, the Iron Cross, is located on some sort of island off the coast and that's what it appears like on the map so that's pretty much what we know right now about DLC 1 with trying to be safe about it but bringing it back to where we're at now we're two weeks in from the launch of Call of Duty World War 2 and people are already seeing signs of hope within the patch notes and updates and I gotta say that since the servers are becoming more stable it's important to note that more features will be introduced coming up soon in the near future. PC's already seeing that reflected. Something big that's pretty important is the amount of XP you earn when you rank up. Everyone's sort of got a problem with it. I'm not sure if we're gonna see some sort of change on that aspect because we were used to double XP at the launch of the game and it already seemed slow. So by the time we actually got triple XP, it seemed like it was more fair. We were actually earning XP that was more worth it. Sort of like Infinite Warfare Zombies and that isn't reflected now. This is due in part to the 1 XP that we all are experiencing and I'm not sure if that's going to continue into the future or if that will be addressed. I will absolutely let you know once update 1.06 comes out. I'll cover that in all the patch notes so be sure you're subscribed so you absolutely don't miss that. The latest on Michael Condry was that he did an interview with Press Here which is an affiliate of NBC. Now what he talks about in this interview is that they're putting passion before money you know the corruption that we've been seeing at least in the black market and in the quartermaster and the past zombies games he says that there's hope in the future so if you want to see more about that interview be sure to check that out in the description box below i'll have that linked but with my channel being around since exo zombies which was sledgehammer's last game i've been covering news and title updates ever since then and the progression has been solid so when we get confirmation like this from an actual developer and their standpoint on it it's a good sign that things are set to change and things coming up in the future are going to be worth it because they've been hearing what the community's been saying 
I know one of the biggest gripes, at least with the zombies community, is that the grind's been kind of lost since the XP's dropped. It seems that prestiging isn't worth it, and as well as the prestige supply drop glitch, you can't even earn zombie supply drops, so we have to wait until they're available and buy them with COD points, and you can't earn them. So there's a big difference there with Infinite Warfare and the key system that they had, because it's just not there to buy it. But they said that they are testing more things with the headquarters, and they'll follow up with more updates. And that was the last thing that we heard on November 19th, so we should get more information coming up this week, and that's what we should be looking forward to. So where we are here now, soon we will be in the future, and that will be introduced with COD points. So we gotta talk about what life's gonna be like after that's introduced. Right now we have all these weapons in our supply drop system. As you play through your first prestige, something you're gonna experience is earning eight zombie supply drops. And that's all you're gonna be able to earn, because once you prestige, the supply drop glitch will come into play, and you will not be able to earn any more. Well, you will be able to earn them in game, but you will not see that reflected in the after action report. This is something I proved when I actually beat the main easter egg, the hardcore easter egg, that was the results that I got. So if you're an actual slayer of the game, if you come in here every day and grind away, you're someone who knows that this exists. The question I gotta ask you guys is, do you think the developers know, with everybody having an account at least on social media and sharing their voice, do you think enough was said for this to be possible and to be updated for update 1.06. That is what I'm hoping for and because I think enough people are talking about it or it's been mentioned at least in the majority of the live streams that I've seen it seemed all at one point that people were going through this and I wanted to talk about it on my channel to get my perspective on it and it absolutely happened to me too. The worst part about this whole experience is that this game is solid Absolutely. It just seems like not enough time was spent on the small things because the small things matter, man. They've always mattered and every one of us knows it that have been here year after year. We definitely see it and with part of the grind being lost because there's no daily or weekly bounties, we should know them as orders in the World War II setting so I'm imagining an updated headquarters. A headquarters where zombies players are treated just as well as multiplayer guys. I feel that we shouldn't be in this stance where we only can earn supply drops and get the loot that we want, new weapons and whatnot, only in multiplayer. I mean, I've been playing so much multiplayer, the grind's been worth it because I've been go getting golden wall weapons, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like this should be the only option to actually get loot. The missing element is simple, it's the currency factor and every one of you guys know it. We have raven tokens that you can only spend on mods. This would be the equivalency of keys. A lot of people are saying that the armory credits are a lot like keys. Yeah, you can unlock certain weapons that you want and everything in the headquarters, but that is like salvage. I'm telling you, it's like salvage, because if you had all this extra stuff, that's what it was like in Infinite Warfare Zombies, but maybe you weren't here for that. Keys were the currency, just like Liquid Divinium was, or Crypto Keys. In Black Ops 3, it was separated. In Infinite Warfare, it was a shared currency. Here we have a separation happening again, except this time, or it's more equivalent to Black Ops 3, we don't have an option to spend Liquid Divinium on Gobble Gums. We don't have an option to spend Raven Tokens on Zombie Supply Drops, Rare or Commons. It's just not available, and guess what? It's just not right. So if you're wondering my stance on it, there it is. I think you should always be able to earn the microtransactions in-game, and they should somewhat be fair so that the grind is worth it. And you can receive multiple packages of the currency in-game by doing certain challenges that are difficult. That's always been something that's there, and it's sort of becoming a lost art form as we move into the future. I'm very concerned about it, but I'm here for the long run, and that's why you guys should stay subscribed, because you're always going to get your patch notes here, and where we're at currently in the zombies world. We're going through a very weird time with microtransactions right now, between EA and the new... Star Wars game, there's some discrepancy with Disney going on, there's something completely unfair happening there, so things might be changing here in the upcoming future, and I think it's going to be a positive change, especially for the gamers. So, that's what I'm excited about, and that's going to ultimately, eventually, reflect in zombies. I do expect the zombie prestige supply drop glitch to be changed in the upcoming future, it's something we definitely need to keep our eyes open for. But Treyarch is coming up next in the next Call of Duty game, so whatever we experience here, we're going to experience that perfected in the next title. That's what I'm also very excited about. So I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Violin out.